That tune, Hifredal, a Welsh tune that Rafe von Williams brought into our tradition, uh, is associated with two texts in the 82 hymnal. This Sunday we'll be singing Alleluia, sing to Jesus, his the scepter, his the throne. Really a effusive text uh, praising Jesus and talking about the love that we experience, God's love through the person of Jesus. And it's a really wonderful way for us to start this Sunday. It's that once a year liturgical event known as the annual meeting. Um, so we will still have a full Eucharistic service with our readings and our hymns and with choral, choral anthems. Uh, but instead of a sermon, we will have an annual meeting, a time for us to really think about the business side, but then also the really the meaning side of what it is that we have in community here at St. John's. Fortunately, the readings for appointed for this Sunday really help us frame that uh, annual meeting in a more perhaps liturgically appropriate way. We have this beautiful reading from Paul's letter to the Corinthians where he talks about what it means to be in community and what does it mean to be in relationship with each other and not just following a figurehead, but to actually be a, a living body of believers together. And then in the gospel, Jesus continues calling his apostles and sending them out in this early part of his earthly ministry where he is right at the beginning saying that he is calling people together to preach good news to the world. And so our hymns and our anthems will all pick up on those ideas and really help us to think about what kind of a community we want to be here at St. John's in Knoxville. And of course, the, the music will also help us uh, reinforce some of those ideas. Perhaps most significantly, the communion hymn that we will sing, I come with joy to meet my Lord, forgiven, loved, and free. And it starts with that sort of introspection, but it goes on to talk about the community that we have in communion. And that final verse, together met, together bound, will go our separate ways. And as his people in the world, we will live and speak his praise. And of course, it's matched with that beautiful early American tune, Land of Rest. In between those two, the choir will be singing a piece that has been around in our library for a while, but it's uh, been several years. Uh, we've not done it during my tenure here. And it's a really beautiful piece that has some wonderful epiphany themes to it. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is set on thee. And it's by the English composer Herbert Sumption. Herbert Sumption was largely self-taught. Uh, he um, kind of figured things out just by singing uh, English choral services in college and growing up and taught himself to compose. Um, he ended up being the organist and choir director at, uh, Gl at uh, Gloucester Cathedral for a long tenure and wrote a lot of his music for that choir there. Um, so this text, Thou Wilt Keep Him in Perfect Peace, Herbert Sumption uh, creates this very placid, flowing musical texture to kind of exemplify that sense of peace. It starts off with this beautiful undulation in the organ And the choir comes right in with that same feel. And while it swells in the middle and gets a little bit bigger and more full of energy, it comes back to that peaceful sound at the very end. So we have a lot of different kinds of things going on as we think about our uh, vocation and our community here at St. John's. I know that annual meetings sometimes get stigmatized as something of a, a real snoozer, but here at St. John's we hope to make this something where we can celebrate the joy and the companionship that we have and the shared ministry that we experience here at St. John's. We invite you to join in all of that with us this Sunday. <laughs> 